All right, the strongest man you forgot about, Chuck Vogelpohl. Check this shit out. All right, what's going on, you guys? Juju here with Juju Strength and Power. So I wanted to make a video about Chuck Vogelpohl. He's one of the most popular powerlifting competitors ever, known for his intensity and work ethic. Here are stats on openpowerlifting.org. Chuck is a multiply lifter and record breaker who kept setting the bar higher and higher for an extensive 30-year powerlifting career. And something I just noticed that I find insane is that Chuck was squatting over 1,000 pounds for 15 years in multiple weight classes. There are a lot of Chuck stories out there because he's very well respected by some of the biggest names in powerlifting. Chuck Chuck was a great, Chuck was a winner because he's the worst loser I ever saw. I've never seen a person such a bad loser, but that was made him a winner. He was probably one of the most intensive lifters to ever walk the planet. You're talking about a man that just literally was the epitome of hardcore. They literally had to duct tape his ribs so they wouldn't pop out of his spine. And he was still squatting all-time world records. You know, we couldn't get him to settle down because what you saw externally was nothing compared to what was going on internally. Whenever I saw him outside, he was the nicest, calmest guy in the world. All right, now that we got a good introduction on who Chuck was, we're going to do something really cool. Now, I don't have any fire beatings. What do you say now, Chuck? Come on, Get Chuck. Come on, Chuck. Come on, Chuck. No, but I got something else here. Joey? Here you go. Brawny man. Sam? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, yes. no, no, no. Cool no. man. <laughs> Dave? Country kitchen. Oh, my. <laughs> you are a tablecloth. Oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> it's plaid versus plaid. Brawny man. Red plaid's Lumberjack. always going to You got a cool one. You're going to put that on, right, Sam? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to go over here and change into this. Let's go. Wait, why are you hiding in the corner here? What did you for forget? I forgot how we got here. How did we get here? How do we get ourselves in this situation? Why do we always get ourselves into these things that are about to tear my body in half? Well, we've never teleported, so we must have driven here. So we did drive here. Me and Sam travel a lot. When you're traveling, it's it's sometimes it's really hard to get the nutrition that we need on the road. And sometimes it's hard to get vegetables in. So I have a question for you guys. When was the last time that you ate vegetables? And when was the last time that you went traveling and had a hard time getting vegetables in? Vegetables are the hardest thing to get in your diet when you're traveling. This is why I'm excited to tell you about AG1 by Athletic Greens. AG1 has me really excited about simplifying my health regime. AG1 has 75 different ingredients, vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. So for me, I used to sell a greens product myself. That's how much I believe in them. AG1 provides the right combination of essential minerals and fatty acids to support your energy and sustain it all day. AG1 contains naturally occurring enzymes that bolster the digestive process, and it supports your metabolism and enhances nutrient absorption. AG1 Vitamins and Minerals is great for a well-functioning nervous system and a strong immune system. AG1 is also vegan, paleo, and keto-friendly. Did you say vegan? I said vegan. Did I say vegan? Yeah, you said, totally said vegan. I said, I said uh, paleo, vegan. I did say vegan. Get your greens. Go to athleticgreens.com slash juji to get started with your order. Athletic Greens is going to be giving my community a one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packets with your first order. Uh, probably placement. Uh, you should probably put them all the right side up. Crap, I'm sorry. Got Guys, go to athleticgreens.com slash juji. Get started with your first order of Athletic Greens. <laughs> we are dressed, right? Let's wait. Come on, keep walking. Keep oh, walking. This is fashion yep. show? Nope. <laughs> Dave. Nah, I'm not part of this. <laughs> Dave, Dave is tired of us stalling. I don't know where I got this from, but I, I remember it. You had a squat off with Chuck Vogelpohl. Absolutely. Yes. And it became this kind of like beefy competition thing between you just a workout you were doing, and then all of a sudden you guys kind of like started getting into it. Yes, well, that was a normal squat day, but this, this day, <laughs> this thing, there was a meet going on, so we were stuck using the power rack. Okay. Everybody else was gone because they were lifting the meat, so it was me, Chuck, and Louie, 
and it, we, the weight was 405. It was just dynamic speed work. But it did kind of suck because at that point we were used to using yeah. the model lip. So, so we didn't want to have to deal with weight changes and all this other kind of crap. We were going to do eight sets of doubles, which was normal speed work. Okay. Now, this is before bands and chains. Yes, yes, What yes, year yes. was this? Old. You know, so we're probably going in mid-90s. He would just came off uh, neck surgery. So he's not <laughs> How many really... weeks post-op was he? What's that? How many weeks post-op was Knowing he? Knowing him, three days. But anyhow, <laughs> it was, um, he was very light for him. So his weight was down. I was maybe 10 weeks out. Uh -huh. So conditioning-wise, I'm in a really good place where this workout is. So as we do the first couple sets, he's kind of like grinding them up. And it's, it's fine. He's in, you know... Yeah. Coming back, I start thinking, I'm gonna kill him today. Because with our dynamic work, we would make it harder by going faster, yeah. pushing the other person, maybe working up, whatever we could, especially if somebody looked, <laughs> I would call it a curd. You know, like the, curd. the crap that sits on milk and the, yeah. the curds, right? Yeah. So if the person's being a curd, then I'm gonna crush them or vice versa. So you're gonna expose the person for being weak. So that was my plan. And it's like okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look faster than him. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk all kinds of shit to him. Uh -huh. All this stuff because today there's I'm gonna I'm for the first time ever I'm gonna I'm gonna hang with this guy. Maybe so after a while I start thinking I'm gonna beat him. So then I start doing this shit where I'll pause on the box, stop, show off, start laughing and yeah. stand up real fast, and then right about eight. Set eight or whatever, set nine. At some point in time, it's like, okay, here we go. This is where we're going. We're not going to go up and wait. We're going to start going, yeah. you know, pushing sets, you know, trying to get the other person out. So this goes back and forth for a while to where there were a couple times I'm like, I got his ass because it was just grinding. And then he would just sit and then say something like, are you sure? And then, and I'd be like, oh, no. This is not gonna be what I thought it was gonna be. So I tried to fake it a little bit. So yeah. I tried to like slow it down, make it look a little bit harder than what it was. Oh, so you think maybe so make, make him would, think the finish line is yes, right there. Yes, make him think. Ah. I think this happened around 20, because I'm thinking, well then if he does a 20, he's gonna say, okay, that's good, we're good, well, it's 20. Or Louis 20, would say, 20 it's 20, we're done. Then no, so then 20 comes and he just does it five times as fast. <laughs> So this keeps going back and forth, and I, it was in the 30s. 30 sets? It, it ended up being 40. 40 sets! So it ended up being 40. And there were a few times, because I'm running my mouth the whole time. He's yeah. running his mouth. So there were a few times where it's like, are you done yet? Yeah. And then it was just like, it, getting closer to the 30s, it's like I'm trying to like find a way out. Like, ah, 40's probably good, right? Yeah. You know, 40's a good number. He ain't saying anything. It's just what this is. And it's like, <laughs> 40's good, right? 40's good, right? And then at, at 40, you know, I looked at him and I said, how many is going to be enough? And he said, one more than you. <laughs> <laughs> and at that point, I, I, I said, I, I'm, I'm done. One I'm more done. than you. Well, it was at that point that I Broken realized. Neck. He, yeah, I mean, at that point, what I realized from him was that he hated to lose more than he liked to win. Yeah. And I was, when, every time I found people like that that I've competed against, you, you, you just got to hope for the best luck in the world because they will kill themselves before they let themselves lose. <laughs> so at that point, I'm just like, and then afterwards, Louis like that guys, that was the dumbest shit I've ever seen you do. Cause yeah. the rest periods on this probably were under 30 seconds. He just went back and forth. Just boom, 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 boom. It didn't yeah. start that way, but it got that way. Cause you're trying to get the other person to quit. Yeah. Now I was trying, let me put it this way. I was trying to get him to quit. Why do, why do I keep coming back to this video? <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to get him to quit, but in full transparency, Chuck probably didn't even give a shit one way or another because yeah. he knew he wasn't going to quit. So he right. wasn't trying to get me to quit. He just knew I would. So when people ask me what was the hardest squat session you've ever had in your life, it was, it was that. That one was. It could, it could have kept going. We could still be there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're going to try to recreate here. We're going to guess at the weight and just say 315, maybe we'll have to take it up. So 50% of like approximately what your max that's, is. I'm doing. figuring that's what ours was at that okay. time. <laughs> All right, Joey, come over here. You ready to lose? <laughs> no, all right, not at all. On. You go first. <laughs> Look at these platted fellows. Like, uh, <laughs> the new brawny man. 
14. Oh, are you kidding me? And you oh, got you got the. I mean, I mean, like, that's like a kindergarten toilet seat right <laughs> there. This looks more like a shitty city. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why does he always look more like a blue girl? A blue girl? I don't know. Yeah, so I'm either a great friend or a really bad friend. Okay. Right? He keeps bringing out to these <laughs> these <laughs> destruction <laughs> videos. I think you need a heart to heart with him. Yeah, he used to go on that little Uh, are you? Yeah. Really? So, John. Yes. Shall we jump to these active sets? Go ahead. Yeah? You want to jump to those? Yeah. Okay. Let's we do a uh, nice mask transition thing. We are at three plates per side. All the brawny strength in the world today. Got your paper towel empire. The quilted quick picker upper. This bar weighs uh, 55 pounds? I mean, 60. 60? All right, so we're actually doing like 330. We're doing 150 kg. Makes me feel better about this. Tits, there you go. Tits, like you're the slowest f ever. <laughs> can't sit down. You don't stand up the whole time. You can't sit down. Oh, we're going to sit down. I'm sitting down. Okay. Strategy number one, cross off the list. <laughs> <laughs> when you put the weight back, the second hand was on the four. Okay. So you're, you're gonna get back in there before the second hand hits the four. Oh. It slows it right down. Really? <laughs> so staring at a clock, that's that's an hour. You know how clock. water doesn't boil if you watch it? Is this, this how you get the most of your rest sets? This is yeah. the up. This is the conjugate secret. Oh, yeah. Very well, guys. Based on his? No, you go right after him. Yep. Is that an advantage or disadvantage? Kind of set the pace. This could take an hour. No, it's not. Uh, no, because you're going to start trimming this right now. Cut right down on the rest time. You're going to trim the rest time down? Yes. When do you trim it down? Yeah. After eight. Who wrote the rule book for this? <laughs> Why do you this invent guy? these rules? <laughs> after eight. After okay. eight sets, is, oh, yeah. I got you. That's when you guys got pissed at each other. Yes, yes, because that's when it was supposed to be done. Ah! <laughs> Try to channel my inner conjugate on the west side. Dave Tate, blood. Blood. That is the stupid Squirt shit, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not, but thanks. <laughs> Like, are we, are we friends or not? Like, what, do you do this to friends? Is this like a friendly thing to do? Yes. Okay. We're this training is together. Yeah, yeah, all right. Catching a near-death experience history, together. Yeah. I know. Lipinov. Make sure you guys watch that one. <laughs> oh! No, no, no. Oh! Is it? No, no, no. I need to create a playlist on the YouTube channel, like all the time we <laughs> got together and just like did just ridiculous things, stupid shit together like this. This is yeah. great. You're my go-to man. I can't ever do like a normal me? session here, but I, is a session here ever normal? I guess yeah. uh, no. <laughs> well, at least you're dressed for the parts now. Yeah, so when okay. my soul leaves, I'll know it left looking good. Are your strategies changing as you're going through this? Well, I was originally like, oh, I'll cheer them on, but now I'm not going to cheer them on. I'm not going to sit down. I'm just going to stare at a clock. And hey, let's talk to you more squatty. <laughs> <laughs> Country Kitchen demands it. How nice Dave was waiting for me. He makes the chalk marks real big too. That's right. You know, he could he could be making little itty bitty marks down here. And be like, well, you got a long way to go. Here. It's a very painterly yeah, line there. Yeah, the loser has to wear a power pole, which is an invention by Chuck. What do you want him to do? Wearing a power pole, Dave? Is your idea? It's gonna be bad. We're gonna figure it out. Okay. We kind of know. It's gonna be something on the belt squat with a modified power pole. Okay. We have to like make one. Yeah, it sounds like it, it sucks a lot, and it's so creative. Yeah. It's always gonna suck for you, dude. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm up. up. <laughs> Put me in, coach. <laughs> Put 
Okay, now see, because that's eight and that would have finished the training, now you want to try to like run him out. So go. All right. Alright, that's 12. Go on, strong man. Alright, we've gotten to 15. Well, you guys are still really friendly. There's not like a total high level of aggression yet. Oh, we'll get aggressive. Okay. <laughs> You're just breathless. Or at least I am. Mm -hmm. I, I feel great. Right. Good. I haven't trained at all. I haven't trained in months. I've trained for an Ironman. Running away. I've been running away from the bar. <laughs> that's, that's, why, that's, that's why he wants me here. He wants me here because he knows I'm detrained. He couldn't handle me trained. This looks like <laughs> smack talk, but he's really delaying. Yeah. <laughs> And to make it clear, you guys cannot sit, just to make that clear to the audience. You must pace like a panther. Or a lower jack. Yep, yep. I'm gonna do another 10 sets down there. <laughs> Ready? Ah! Ready? Ah! Three. Ah! Three. Ah! Ah! So I think he's done it. I think that was just calling you out there just a little bit. Oh. <laughs> I want to see those lungs. Come on. Let's go. There you go. Come on. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. We're at 22 sets. Sam, you're the real MVP. Hold that camera that long. Traps. Did a good trap workout back there? Feeling trappy. Got some interior delt work. Yeah, you're doing good, Sam. You too, Sam. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we are adding a quarter. No, you're warmed up. Shit's warmed up now. You should to flex a little bit harder. Oh, are these the working sets? Is this when it starts? Yeah, it's warmed yeah, up it's now. Worse. Okay. <laughs> I was waiting for that warm up to be over. <laughs> <laughs> That's the longest warm up of my life. Air, head. You drink any of that water? Did you take a sip of that water? Better not have. Nothing was witnessed. Mm -hmm. Better not have taken any water. Just drinking my own sweat right now. How anabolic is that? Sweat of a champion. Go. How anabolic. What's going on, Techno Picnic Viking? It's not going to be as hard as last time. The last time you opened a dance for me. <laughs> You guys can stop at any time. Oh, that that is an interesting. But one of you is going to have to decide who's going to stop first. To the desk. <laughs> Come on, we got us. There you go. Proper burial for me is in the gym. Like Maybe that. today. Yeah, more, more so more. proper depth. 
<laughs> Proper <laughs> depth, nice plus. Do you feel the plaid is helping you guys? Well, you know, we're faster than light speed. So that's 35? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Fiji bottle screaming your name? Uh, no. no, it's not. Fiji. It's not for me. It's not pure. It's like the, it's like the <laughs> half car driver waiting for the last laps to pass yeah. in front. <sighs> now Juji's following the rules. <laughs> I definitely saw the one. There's 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 a point in time where you you start to be who you want to become. Come on, John. Let's go. Come on. Try, 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 try. There you go. Shot over the yeah, there's, your, there's your shot, man. Lap a triple down here and make it here. Have a sweater do a triple. Come on, coach! That's just giving him more time to regroup. Like I got the pee bucket around here. They just did a squat workout. What's that? Wait a minute, you, you didn't press the record button. <laughs> <laughs> did you surrender? Yeah, he won. <laughs> that's, that's really quiet. Well, yeah. Dave, what's the punishment? Well, right now what they need to do is to not lay on the floor and to walk around let their heart rate drop naturally. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> so, that's, so you don't get a migraine. Uh, Country Kitchen, what was your review of that squat chest? I guess. Seven out of ten. Okay, yeah, so it's a fair pass. review. You might go back there again. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes, the ergonomic peak bucket. <laughs> well, you don't want to bend over too bad. It's pretty <laughs> bad. Uh, I guess I had a little more in me, or not enough in me. I don't know which one. Depending on how you look at it, the more I mean, we both got to just around 100 reps, if not just a smidge over it. Yeah, so it's probably 40,000, if not 50,000 pounds of work. That's crazy. So, uh, you're better off not even knowing when you do it. 
Like, just keep going and keep going. I, I think would, it might have helped you. Yeah. Hey, are you from podcast now? <laughs> just sit down and have a great conversation. <laughs> First and foremost, I would just want to see how you're feeling. We, is the doms creeping in yet? How, Dude, how's yeah. the butt feeling? No, I was sore before we even did this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying. Just think of Chuck. See, here's Chuck here. Chuck, I failed you. <laughs> so, I'll have to come back, Chuck, stronger. <laughs> I felt a uh, really hot streak here in my head. It was like, like lava. Never felt that before. I don't know what it meant, but I'm not feeling that sensation. I'm not working hard enough, huh? Isn't it really a power? What, no. What they call it, a power pole. Power pole. A yeah. power pole. It's it's a front squat harness, more or less, with a big penis sticking out the front end. <laughs> I don't know how else to this explain it, right? Is. If I remember correctly, he was he came in the gym and he was all pumped up because he had to carry bags of dog food, or maybe it was salt. You know, for that, for the salt water softener of the house up a hill, you know, to be able to do his daily duties, whatever you want to call it with all that. But it, it pumped the crap out of his back and his hips and his glutes. So then he realized this ought to be something that he should be doing more in his training. So he created this power pool. We're going to simulate it the best we can. Go ahead and put that on. Okay. Joey, do you want to watch? Why would I mean, of course I want to watch. A little bit further. A DIY power pole. All right, so then, just see enough to just make sure this is cool on your hips. Just fire your glutes up a little bit. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Well, okay, my glutes so are kind of done. already pre-fatigued a little yeah. bit. You know what? I know. Son yeah. of a bitch. <laughs> Brian. Well, you got to put the weight on the power pole. <laughs> yeah. Because we don't have, well, it's not a power just pole. Be a hey, sorry, point, trademark. But... But yeah. whatever it is, we need the weight right. there right, now. Bro. Okay. Brian, play some music. Now just step oh. side to side. And what did we say? Five minutes. Ah! It was it was a song. No. So we need some kind of song. It, it, but it's not copyrighted, so I mean these songs can go forever. Happy birthday. Uh, wait, what are we? Sing it. Five <laughs> times. <you>. No. <laughs> Sing, Happy son of a bitches. Sing to now. To you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Juji. You should have to sing it. You're the Happy one. Happy birthday, Juji. All right, sing it again. Here we go. Happy this is the second time. Birthday, no, no, he's got to sing it by himself. He lost. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Juji. Happy birthday to you. Again? No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You still no, got to no, do more, it. One more time. Oh, it's a drop set. All right, go. Okay. Go. go. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Like how it Happy swings. birthday <laughs> to you. On pitch. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks for burping the baby. Me. Just push all the air out of him. So down. Make sure you just lock in. It is? Yeah, okay. You're good. You're good. Oh. That was good. The birthday made it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that was really kind of you. You only limited to three birthdays. Nah, I know. Not five. Know. When's your actual birthday? It was a few days ago. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Should we, we should have known that. Oh, we should've... two more times then. Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> how, how satisfying no. is that for you? Hey, man, I'm in my rocker, <laughs> in my brawny man attire. Birthday squats. <laughs> There's the best birthday gift I could birthday ever give to him. <laughs> so kind of you. Yeah. Suji, that was my gift to you. <laughs> That's pretty good. Surprise! <laughs> That's the man. That's, uh, this... It's all his fault. He existed. He existed. He existed. <laughs> That's right, Chuck. He was born. <sighs> uh, Happy birthday, Chuck. Happy birthday.